Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for <laughs> Aquarius. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, if you were to get a reading from me, what? Ten of Pentacles already. You would be finding out things like the type of person, their personality, key dates, their qualities, and where you might find them or where you might run into them or who might introduce you to them. You'll find out obstacles, their feelings towards you, what actions you should take in the meantime, and the outcome. So, and that package is $30. The $60 package is going into a little more depth on key dates of when those obstacles would come in. And you get to find out what your person actually looks like, their hair color, their eye color, skin color, height, and body type. So we find out quite a bit for you. And this is the Twin Flame Soulmate Readings. I only have two packages out today so far and that's the 30 and 60 dollar package so this is what your person is like now they are an earth sign definitely earth is coming in with the ten of pentacles wow and of course with that ten of pentacles this is saying that this person has emotional harmony and that generational wealth a legacy or maybe inherited things maybe property or something along those something along those lines and this is all about family they're family family oriented they may even have children of their own now wow this is beautiful with the ace of swords this is <laughs> it says on the card i am free of your bullshit but that's not really what we're talking about here are we we're really saying that with the Ace of Swords, this is some type of breakthrough or some type of truth coming in here. Some new idea or mental clarity coming through. Success, really, in, um, in a relationship I'm kind of getting here. And with the Ten, I mean, this is a cycle ending um, for something new to come in. Sorry, I'm just messing around with my computer because it's still not working properly. It's got to find that sweet spot where it will work. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. All right. And we got it. And I don't think so. Come on. Well, as far as I know, it's it's not showing up on my end but from what i understand it will <laughs> keep recording hopefully so <laughs> we'll see what happens um so they may have a lot of they may be an earth sign but they may have a lot of air in their chart so with an earth sign that's we're looking at the ten of pentacles and that could be capricorn taurus or virgo and with the 10, let's see, I'm getting Virgo with this, okay? And with the Ace of Swords, I'm. this could be a lot of air, energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Um, and I'm really getting the person that here, uh, I feel like they're... They're, they may be well off or have some type of inheritance, but I'm, I'm getting that there there's a breakthrough here. They may have realized who you are to them is kind of what I'm getting here. Now, our key dates here is going to be September 13th to the 22nd, which is today's the 14th. So it's within this week that you may end up meeting this person. It's going to be like a breakthrough here. They're very good of with the gift of gab I'm getting with all the air energy that's in here. And with the, what did I say, Virgo? 
Okay, so with the Virgo, this is somebody that's dependable and patient and very creative. They may even be a little critical about things only because they like, they have an eye for detail. So they're, they have um, that critiquing type of energy where they like to tweak things to make it just right. Um, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> so I feel like they are very successful in whatever they're doing. So what else can I tell you about this person? The Ten of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. Now I'm kind of getting with the Ace of Swords. This could be Gemini Libra cusp that, um, that's May. So you may have run into this person in last May. You may not know who they are. They may have been a stranger, but they caught your eye is kind of what I'm getting here. And I'm talking to an earth sign here that Virgo um, mostly is kind of what I'm getting. So that Virgo could be your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. And um, you could be a Capricorn. You could be a Taurus. You could be the Virgo as the sun sign as well. Um, I'm feeling a lot of earth in here and air. So you may have a lot of planets in one of the air signs here. Getting Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. I'm kind of getting that you're, you may have planets in all three of the air signs. Let's see, how are you going to meet this person? So we're going to look at who's bringing this in. Maybe it's on social media. It could be a past person. Or it could be a family member, friend, or it could just be a stranger that you meet and talks to you. Mm, deceit, number seven. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. It looks like somebody's re reflecting and assessing and gaining knowledge maybe on some type of deceit here. Now, whether that was them that deceived you, maybe this is somebody from your past, or this is someone else that they're thinking of, perhaps you deceived them. Um, you kind of will know once we get into the reading a bit more here. Yeah, this is... 7-7 seven, seven as well here, or you could go 2552 in the angel numbers to get uh, some more advice uh, from your angels, ancestors, or spirit guides that may be wanting to let you know some type of message here. You could also do 7-7. Seven, seven. Now the goddess of the moon is all about new beginnings. This is about new relationships coming in. And... <sighs> I kind of feel like maybe you both have been deceived before. Perhaps you have a lot of the same type of energy where I'm kind of getting mirroring. So this may be a twin flame. Okay. You may have both been through the ringer is kind of what I'm getting here. Let's see what we get on the bottom of the deck. Second chakra Archangel Ariel. So the second chakra is your sacral chakra. This is all about emotions, maturity level, and sexuality. And number nine, this may have something to do with fruition. So wanting your wishes to be fulfilled. And I'm kind of getting with this, this may be somebody that is a higher maturity level is in touch with their emotions and they may be somebody that um <laughs> that sexuality uh might be a big thing i'm getting kind of that appeal so maybe they take in a lot to do with looks 
Let's get some tarot cards here. We're going to leave these. I'm going to get a tarot card for this one as well. Let's see about the character and personality. What is this telling us about this Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus? Oh, temperance. Okay. <laughs> So what I'm getting with the temperance, this is Jupiter, Sag, fire. This has to do with your solar plexus. You're going to know it's going to be like a gut feeling for you. Okay. Now I'm kind of getting, let's see, July, August. You may have met this person. You may have seen them again in July and August and ran into this person. Now with the temperance energy, we're kind of looking at somebody that likes adventure, maybe journeys, is on a journey of some kind, maybe being in the flow, maybe in a spiritual, maybe looking at their life purpose here. There's harmony and peace with this as well. And patience. This person might be very patient when it comes to things. And with that Sag fire energy, maybe it's in their sun, moon, or rising. Let's look at the second chakra. Tell me about the second chakra. All right. Oh, that should have been that way yet. Okay. So somebody definitely wants to come in. They're very um, stimulated here with the Knight of Wands. This is more fire, but this is action. Um, with the Knight of Wands, this is somebody that is really looking, I'm kind of getting uh, a lot of passion here. They're having some type of inspired action to come forward. This, they may be charging ahead because they're looking at this as I'm kind of getting a um, having the courage to to go after their fulfillment is kind of what I'm getting. Tell me about the deceit. I want to know about the deceit here. What? Why is that here? Oh, wanting to plant seeds. Now they may come come off as. <laughs> um, be careful that they actually want to plant seeds and want to build the future with you because that deception could be that they're going to tell you what you want to hear. But I feel like you're going to change this type of person. Um, they may be all about that sexual connection. So I kind of feel like you're going to be such a different twist to this person. They're not going to expect this kind of, um, <laughs> I'm kind of getting um, good with not being with them if that's how they are. <laughs> and maybe when you first meet this person, they may rub you the wrong way. I'm kind of getting this, um, they may come off as that sexually based type of energy and that might be a turn off for you. And you might be like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm kind of getting that um, they might that might be some type of deception in your assumption is kind of what I'm getting because they may want to actually build seeds with you or plant seeds with you, but they come off as this sexually pumped kind of person. Um, I'm kind of getting it. It may just be an ego thing. Um, <laughs> just messing with my computer to see if I'm still good and it's still filming. So I just hope that it's still going to work because I still haven't been able to get this thing to work properly when I want it to. <laughs> of course, when I don't want to, it works just fine, right? Which is usually at night and when I'm going to bed. <laughs> All right, so let us look at the next part here. Let us look at the obstacles. What obstacles might there be in the way of this union? 
Let's find out why they haven't come in yet. They are coming, that's for sure. He's on the horse there. So you may have already met this person, but you don't know who they are. Secrets. I haven't told you everything. There, Maybe that's that deception there. They may be somebody that goes slow. They may have children and they don't tell you right away or they're maybe they have uh, maybe they're married but they're separated or something along those lines or they're getting a divorce maybe they're not going to tell you until it's done or there's a reason why they're not let's see unexpected okay so <laughs> things didn't go the way they planned and I kind of feel like that is to do with this put off about this person you're kind of put off by their energy when they first come in because they're going to come in um, like they are here for a good time not a long time and I don't feel like that's what you're looking for I feel like you're looking for the one and you might feel like this person might be the one but because of that energy and they may be like oh shit <laughs> hey you know I didn't mean it like that you know or something like you know like <laughs> let's see what else comes in damaged we were both hurting from this so they may have been hurt from a this may not be somebody you know so this they may have been hurt by someone else and you may have been hurt by someone else as well maybe somebody cheated on them and maybe you've had that too and I kind of get that whatever it was that you were hurt from they went through the same thing that mirroring yeah destiny I'm struggling to find the right path I feel like they have a sense that you are it but <laughs> they're nervous I'm getting they're nervous when they meet you that they're nervous and when they want they do want to plant seeds but they come off as being so aloof or like they're not really into you at all and you don't know what to make of it when it and it's just like is this just a like <laughs> you just want to get in my pants or like is this a long-term thing like what you know what kind of person are you <laughs> I'm kind of getting that um what do you want is kind of <laughs> what do you want from me <laughs> why are you here all right let's see how are they really feeling about you how do they feel towards you let me see <laughs> I love you so much but I keep running from you I don't understand why I do this now this is typically a twin flame relationship so I was already picking that up and this is kind of confirming in that because that runner chaser type of dynamic let's see I can't take being away from you any longer this person may have been trying to get close to you and maybe all their tricks of the trade haven't helped them any when it comes to you things move so fast I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you and I feel like they may have only seen you once or twice but in those times that they've seen you whatever feelings they've had has absolutely scared the heck out of them is kind of what I'm getting they're really not sure how they should feel and whatever they do feel I feel like it they're not sure how they how to come across to you with this I don't want to let you go I miss being with you and I feel like this may have been uh, from another life um, especially with the twin flame and that mirroring you may feel that too like you are yearning for your person you know they're out there you just don't know who they are all right what action should you take in the meantime well this person is figuring out what path to take here <laughs> Ah, well you are being protected when it comes to this new beginning so you don't have to worry about that let us see what do we need to know about what action you should be taking Aquarius in the meantime until this person figures out their path 
<laughs> forgiveness. So you may need to work on forgiveness. <clears throat> Especially if this is somebody from your past. Or even just forgiving the past. It's, it's more for you anyway. Um, so you're able to move on, right? And I mean, if you come across this person, then the way you respond to them is going to tell them <clears throat> that you've moved on from this, you know, <clears throat> or that you've forgiven them. They're going to know one way or another, and they're not going to be so... I feel like um, sabotage, they're not going to sabotage whatever this is, right? Stillness, yeah, you may need to still, there, there might be a, like a pause right now because there may be some things you're still needing to work on, so they may not be able to come in just yet, okay? So let's find out about the destiny. Tell me about the destiny, please. What is the path for this person? They, they may still be healing here. Yeah, they may be going through a bit of karma. There's judgment here. So this is kind of uh, that transformation they may be going through with the Pluto energy. There's life-changing events that are coming, right? So they might be learning from the past and awakening and accepting change or an acceptance and believing in fate knowing that it's coming it's faded it's kind of what i'm getting there what about the judgment oh wow two of cups so i feel like they know what these life-changing moments that are coming in is about love this connection, this two of cup, this partnership. Wow. Something has come to an end for this to come through. With each ending becomes a new beginning. And with the world, I mean, this could also be... I'm kind of getting... Um, tying up loose ends or finding that right path here. Kind of feel like... This may be all about some, how do I say that? Um, success, I guess it's success. It's finding that right path and having that success. Wow, that's beautiful cards, I love these cards. I don't want you to go. I miss being with you. Wow. Okay. All right. So somebody is finding the strength with the Leo energy here. They may be getting schooled or learning something from somebody or just sad that you're not in their energy. They may feel you pulling away. I feel like you've learned a lot or this person has. They may feel this pull. Um of you just maybe just healing and whatever you're doing they're going to do it too they may be learning uh, a bit about themselves i'm getting with this they're they're sad whatever happened here happened now if this was in the past life this could be in this lifetime let's see what's the stillness tell me about the stillness mm-hmm yeah, the, I'm kind of getting that finding the calmer waters in your life, going away from anything that may be stressful or um, in a kind of like a distraction. So I'm kind of getting whatever you're needing to do to find that peace and quiet. Maybe it's to meditate. Let's see. What else? Yeah, look at that. Now, this may be to bring in your blessings here. Now, with the Ace of Cups, I feel like, especially with as a twin, I feel like this is inedible. Like, this is coming whether you want it to or not. And uh, this is coming because there's something you may be having to do with this person um, in service for maybe spirit. I'm getting that this is kind of faded and that I felt that earlier that faded 
So let's see what the outcome is. We'll also do um, the after tarot as well, Aquarius. So let's see. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> I could feel it might be from the past. Okay, so you may not want this person to um, be known to anyone else. You may keep this under wraps is what I'm getting. And it is a reconciliation. Sorry to say someone from your past is returning to your life and you're going to want to just just be you and them. You don't want anybody coming in to upset this union. I'm kind of getting I feel like you might be really put in together and it might just start off as a friendship. Now, you both may have children, one of you may have children, or this person wants to have children with you. Yeah, and Spirit's saying, make that effort here. Make the effort. A great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. This is all guided. I could feel that earlier. Um, this is kind of like... <laughs> A power above your own this is something that is coming together like it or not I keep getting that like it or not this is something that has to come forward look at that those romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring now this may be something that you didn't want to I'm kind of getting maybe they didn't want to either um, acknowledge your true feelings towards this person and I'm kind of getting with this you may have really held back from this person if this is somebody you know I'm getting the past especially with reconciliation however this could be somebody from your past life you may not know this person this could be a new person so you're going to have to take it how it resonates. Of course, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so definitely feeling like this reconciliation may be in this lifetime. Could be, like I said, um, Definitely this person is deciding now. I don't feel like you married this person. I feel like maybe you both were married to someone else. Maybe it was that you both couldn't get together um, when you wanted to. I feel like maybe one was already married. So the other one got married. Um, uh, one got divorced and then the other one got divorced and it was never one was with somebody and the other one was with someone else or one was and the one wasn't but they were never able to get together because they weren't single at the same time i feel there maybe were secrets maybe one was married there might be some deceit here maybe these secrets are somebody still married um but not to who you thought they were married to they could have gotten remarried and you didn't know about it that might be something they're holding back but i feel like they want to maybe end this with somebody here now when i first saw this i felt like this was destined to come together but this kind of threw me off at first, but it doesn't always mean that it's something is over. It could be tying up loose ties. And I feel like that may be getting a divorce to whoever they didn't tell you they were married to. You may have thought they were single. They may have said they were single. Maybe they were remarried and you just didn't know it. They maybe wanted to tell you that because they wanted something with you. I feel like whatever it is, maybe this was a couple of years that you talked to this person. I feel like this is coming to an end. Maybe they got divorced already. They may be learning a bit about things. You may have 
hurt this person or they may have hurt you in the past. There's definitely a new beginning here and forgiveness. This is a lot of love I'm feeling here. I feel like this is really different than what you're used to, Aquarius. This is somebody that really pumps life into you that you haven't had, you haven't felt like that since the last time you'd seen this person. I feel a lot of energy here. So you may feel what others are feeling or you feel what each other is feeling. What is this romantic feelings here? This one wants to come. Yeah, there may have been some confusion here. Uh, may, I'm kind of getting some, this may have been uh, a misunderstanding of some sorts or something along those lines. They could have a lot of people that want to be with them as well. I'm kind of getting um, a lot of options here as well. Maybe a lot of people want to be with this person. Tell me about the seven of cups here. Seven of cups, please. Yeah, this might be some type of illusion or wishful thinking. It could also be about choices. Making choose wisely is kind of what I'm getting here. Maybe some indecision in the past. But I feel like they really couldn't stop thinking about you. Maybe they dreamed about you all the time. Maybe they couldn't get you off their mind. I'm kind of feeling maybe even nightmares that someone else was going to marry you before they got a chance to come in for you. They don't want to wait. It's kind of what I'm getting here. And we've got seven and nine here. So you could look up 79. I also have 16 and I've got 11 as well, which is Ascended Masters. That could be who's bringing this all together. This may be divine timing here. And of course, with it being a new beginning here, wanting to plant seeds, I feel like you may have felt this person is a playboy that knight in shining armor coming in kind of playboy type of <laughs> yeah like like they're a player player and that may you may have you may have felt that they were a player but i feel like that maybe wasn't the secret and because there was a secret and you were picking up on that i feel like that's how you read it, is that they were just going to play with you. That was just a player. They were going to waste your time. So you didn't pursue it. Or they didn't pursue you. Hmm. Well, let's find out what your intuition is telling you, Aquarius. Hmm. There might have been a competition here. Now, this has to do with what I was saying before with these secrets. There's someone else in their energy. So it looks like somebody else may have been there in the way. Now, somebody may have ended this in the past because maybe you'd moved on and were dating someone else. Maybe they felt deceived. What is your intuition telling you? Oh, so that this is healed. You've already healed this and maybe moved on from this. The star. This is funny because this is Aquarius's energy coming in. This is all about being that logical thinker, that analytical type of person. Kind of independent, that humanitarian kind of unconventional healing, healing energy. Somebody's healing, wants to heal something here. 
Could be you, could be them. I feel like it's more like them. Let's see, Aquarius. Let's give you a couple cards here. Let me just make sure this is still going. Yeah, it uh, looks like it's still going, even though I can't see it on my screen. <laughs> I have to tilt my um, my laptop to a certain spot, otherwise it doesn't show me the picture. So, let's see, what do we get here? Oh, wow. So, <laughs> with the Five of Swords, there may have been an argument or some type of conflict here. I feel like somebody's already healed this, right? Maybe tried picking a different cup. Maybe got married and it could have been you, Aquarius. Could have been your person. But I kind of feel like, yeah. And it's possible that maybe they tried to get with you before and got hurt trying to do so. But they know that you are the right person. There's marriage here. So it's either they already married somebody or... It looks like they may have married somebody after things didn't go well with you. They may have been dating them... Maybe that was the secret, wanting to get together with you. Okay, wow. Okay, we got the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and what is that? The King of Wands. Okay. So, I'm kind of getting with that. This may have been a new opportunity, and they're willing to come in to fight for you. This person might be a looker looker. And that could be why you're feeling their player player. They may look really good to you. Let's see. Give me what this two of cups is, please. Yeah, this is something that you can invest in. It's going to produce some abundance for you. And abundance can be in love as well. It doesn't necessarily mean in money. So tell me about what the world card is then. Wow, this is your Ten of Cups. So this is ending something to come to get their Ten of Cups. That's how they see you, Aquarius. Wow, okay. So tell me what this Five of Cups is then. Yeah, they may have been holding on to you or might have been about money for somebody here. They may have gotten schooled about something. They got the strength, though, to get through this. I feel like they still want to come in for you. They may have been having to get divorced or maybe hmm, lost a lot in the divorce. May have been the reason this person married them was about their money. Yeah, they're looking for that equal give and take. Maybe they were being generous and this person took advantage of that. Hmm. That's sad. Why can't people just be decent? Let's see. What's this Ace of Cups? Yeah. They may feel like there's no more fighting or no more competition here with the Five of Wands. It looks like they're the five the person is above the rest here, a position of advantage. They may feel like they've already won. Or they're going to win. <laughs> <clears throat> Tell me about the Six of Swords. I feel like they're getting away from somebody. Yeah, <laughs> Tower. So things may have come crashing down here for them to... Spirit may have pulled this for them. That they had to get away from whoever this was. Um, Spirit was finally saying, look, you're not going on your own. I'm just going to pull the rug out from underneath you here and show you what you needed to see. And I feel like you may have been waiting for this, Aquarius, or this person was waiting for this. If you are the Aquarius, so your person may have been waiting for you to see something or they needed to see something here. What is this Nine of Swords? Yeah, there was some truth. Okay, so they, 
They may have felt like they were in a nightmare when it came to this. They may want to come in and tell you the truth about these secrets of what's going on. They may even be having a breakthrough or an aha moment is kind of what I'm getting here. That mental clarity of who they're meant to really be with. That reconciliation and fixing whatever happened with this argument or misunderstanding I'm getting. Let's see about, we've got this one here. Let's see about your person. What is their um, intuition saying? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So this person may be disciplined and very serious about healing something. They could be in the limelight. They could be uh, somebody that is known, maybe even on social media. Maybe they have a channel or a TikTok, YouTube, whatever. They're going to make some money here. Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this healer is, I feel like they're a healer. Let's see. We got both of these here. So let's see what we have. What question can I ask? <laughs> I just got a ding on my computer. What question can I ask here? What is the secret here? Tell me about the secret. Hmm. You might have to wait to find out. So... Spirit's kind of telling me to be patient here. Uh, wait for this person to come in because they're going to tell you the truth. Okay? So, if they're going to tell us about that, let's find out what the deception is then. Maybe <laughs> tell me. Ah, there's justice here. So, you may be getting some type of justice for how they treated you so they may be getting some karma here i'm kind of getting whatever this tower was they there was some karma coming in for that but the justice card this is all about being fair doing what's right the karmic debts being paid this is about law and being honest Having that balance and that moral sense of right and wrong. Truth. This is a blessing. There's two blessings coming in here for you. With the Ten of Cups, wow, and the Ten of Pentacles, Ten Ten here with the Four of Wands. Like, this is pretty significant. This is long term I'm getting. I'm kind of getting they ha you might end up having to move away from your hometown and your person may have to move away from their hometown and you're going to find somewhere kind of in the middle from both families I'm getting and this is going to give you a chance to really get to know your person without any interference from family, friends or whatever. I feel like you're going to make your own start and I don't feel like it's too far from your people or their people. It's kind of not far, I'm getting. And it, it it's, it's going to be better for the two of you to have that connection where you have that chance to actually work things out, I'm getting. There's already forgiveness, I'm feeling. Um, that's certainly what you're working on. Aquarius or your person is there's that mirroring effect here right so let's see what tell me about this temperance yeah there might be some type of success that needs to come in here for this queen of pentacles and this could be for your person even if they're a masculine um, it's just the energy coming through which is all about for the Queen of Pentacles that 
material success, financial success, being resourceful and reliable and practical, even nurturing uh, that emotional side I'm kind of picking up again. What about the justice? Ah, yes. Somebody is definitely healing from whatever karma they've had. Now, I feel like this karma may have already come through. They've actually um, working shit out here to come in. And I feel like this is just tying up those loose ends to be able to walk away from somebody. Now, this could be where they're having to... Um, maybe find a place to stay or find a new location. I feel like they may even try to move in your area just so they can run into you or have access to you. Something along those lines. Anyways, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Please like, share, and subscribe become part of the divine oracle tribe <laughs> and if you want to donate you can just go to the description box below on the more there click on that it'll drop down and it will show a paypal link just click on the link it'll take you right to paypal and you can donate i appreciate all the donations and the super thanks thank you thank you and Thank you. It helps with the channel. And even if you don't donate, um, please know that I appreciate you as well just for watching all the videos. It certainly helps the channel grow and sharing it and liking it. That absolutely helps. I appreciate each and every one of you for that. Now, um, I've picked the winner for the free reading but I still haven't heard back from this person so um, I don't really want to announce the name on any of my videos so I'm going to repost the winner's name on my community tab on my channel so be sure to look at that uh, if you know this person maybe contact them and let them know <laughs> that Hey, you won. <laughs> Time to collect. Just have to email me and my email is in that description box below as well. So just know that I am doing free readings for that. I, I pick one every month for a free reading and the details are in the description, not description box, the community tab. Uh, you'll find out how to get in for that. Now, I only started on the 1st and I pick a winner on the 10th. So make sure you are watching in the community tab on the on the 1st for what you need to be doing in order to win a free reading, which I choose on the 10th. OK, so be sure to look for that. Um, also, my personalized readings are open and I only have a few slots left. Not even a few, a couple. <laughs> So be sure to get in for that if you want a reading, a personalized video. I have two packages, the $30 package and which was what you would have seen today is what you would get. And I also have a $60 package which goes into a little more depth and gives you more dates and a few other things there. So anyhow, take care, stay blessed and we'll see you next time. Later.